Hello everyone. So in my previous video, you have already gone through one of the child node of CQ edit config node, which is CQ listeners. And now let's talk about a new feature of CQ edit config, which is CQ colon drop targets. So uh, let's see what CQ colon drop targets do. So in uh, in this blog, we will talk about CQ colon drop target feature, uh, which uh, defines a list of drop targets that can accept a drop for from an asset of content finder. So what is the meaning of this line? So you see this is a page and there are all the assets. So this is a drop target is a feature where we can directly throw these assets in a component without opening a page, uh, without opening the dialog so is it really possible so let's check this out with image component first because i think this is the feature which we can uh, tremendously use with image component so let's see i have an image component already so let's drag and drop my image component first i have one group the GAM in which my image component is there and there is an upload image. So see if I uh, upload one image and I say as GAEM and just click yes. Okay, then uh, now I want to change this image. How I will go? I will just open the dialog and change the image. Is it uh, is there is any way that I don't need to open the dialog? I just directly throw it here and it change. Yes, there is a way. So let's see that way. So first we need to create a node saying CQ colon drop targets. The spelling should be exactly same and because it is case sensitive, so we should need to take care of this. The next is the node name. So here the node name can be anything, any node name. So, okay, let's put image. Now there are three properties for this node. One is accept. So I have already put the XML. So let's just copy quickly and paste accept so this will accept all kind of images so we will add this multi add correct now uh, the next property is groups so this is it is a kind of media so this is media okay now third is property name so this property is very important because the name property of this the property name the value of this property name will be same exactly you are using in this widget this widget so what you are using dot slash file reference so i'm gonna use exactly same widget here don't okay now one thing i did mistake this okay i think i'm ready till here now next is i need to create a parameters node we will understand the use case of parameter a bit later first add a parameters node and add a wrestling resource type and it should be the relative path of the component so i copy it here and just relative path not the absolute path i think i am done first refresh and see if it is working okay now i want to change the image so what i did see i can just directly throw an image from this content finder and it just changed the image so let's understand uh, two things first is image so this node name can be anything from am6.3 previously before am6.3 it was mandatory that the node name should be image because there was some logic written on it but now it's just so flexible that you can use anything but uh, i'm just following the conventions am out of the box components are following the next is parameter so the, this parameter node is always a matter of confusion and always a matter of discussion actually not this parameter node this particular property so i don't know why everybody everyone everywhere adobe document recommend that please add sling resource type as a relative path for all kind of media components like video audio images i've seen everywhere so i just added this property but i don't know the use case of adding this particular property but yes there is a use case of this parameter node so right now you are just throwing uh, an image here so uh, right now I configured one image alternative text so let's check this first in which property it is saved image okay let me copy this and just put it under parameters mode so if 
I'm just telling you the use case of parameters. Correct. Now I just put in parameters nodes. I refresh. And if I change the image here, now it, it changed the value of this particular property also. So if uh, if you want to change the value of particular particular property uh, also, when you throw an image in the content finder, then you can use this particular parameters node. You can add many modes. Like if you always want, like when you throw an image, it should be by default center. So what you can do? You want that when you throw image, it should be by default center. So what you can do? Refresh image and just put it like copy and paste it in parameters. Now refresh. But let's make it to left or right and then we will get to know if it is actually changing. Uh, let's make it to right. And if I throw an image here. See this also get changed. So this is how parameters property work. So this is how my drop target work. And uh, obviously this known name is not so important. If you are working in AM6.3 and 6.4, you don't need to bother about this. But yes, I'm using out of the box conventions. You don't need to very much confused about parameters, sling resource type this uh, because it doesn't impact, but good to have. So I will recommend, please use it. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.